Hi, guys. Thanks for joining my YouTube channel. Well, guys, here we will hear a discussion with Carlos King and one of his guests on his podcast, who is, um, he's something in the industry, but him and Carlos is very close. Um, you know, he is uh, like a brainchild when it comes to reality TV. He watches all of the housewives and, you know, he's very involved in these type of shows. He also says that he is a melometer, but you'll hear him say that Letitia Scott was not the real puppet master, but the real puppet master was Melody Cherie. Melody Cherie was brilliant, you know, in getting Kiki to do the job, you know, that she wanted her to do. You know, she was brilliant in getting Kiki to go against her cousin to, you know, I guess give her information or, you know, just to, to bring some things out that nobody else but somebody close to her could bring out. And he also, um, he also makes, um, the, um, accusation that, you know, Kiki pretty much found a loophole, you know, in how to come on to the show. You know, it was about her. It was about getting on the show by any means necessary. And, you know, she went to the drama. She went to where there was a fallout. You know, she went straight to uh, the messy situation regarding Melody and her cousin, which is his opinion. And she found her way to get attention and to be on this national television show. And so, you know, she made it happen. And that's why we're talking about Kiki today. Not because she belongs there, not because she's relevant, but because people want to know, you know, how she would go against her cousin, especially being from the South when families are usually close knit. And so, you know, people want to know the root of that situation. Like, why would she really go against her cousin? They want to know more about the story. So there we have it. You know, that's why Kiki, you know, made her way onto the reunion, which she was very ecstatic about, you know. Um, and, and we know the story behind that. So thanks again, guys, uh, for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Destiny, Stormy, Tiffany, and Lewis. You know, that's the others. And you got the original six, the others, and then the mothers, right? So she lives over there in that space of the others. And she wants to be involved right in the middle of this. So she goes straight to the conflict between Destiny, um, Melody and her cousin, Letitia. And she knows that it is shocking to see a person, especially a Black person, especially a Southern Black family, have that sort of discord. You know, those families are rooted in in togetherness and in family values and principles and things like that. So to see a cousin go against a first cousin like that, it's odd. And it makes you want to know more about what that breakdown, you know, what caused that breakdown. So now she's sitting on the couch in a gown. And yes, we can talk about how beautiful she is, but we're only talking about that because she happens to be there, not because she's a person of interest. And that's what I mean about those subsidiary relationships like that. Like that's you, you want to be associated with there. You want to be the person who came and went against the family and for what? And Melody, she's such a master at this. Melody has not done one thing where you can flat out say you talking to Kiki because you met at Letitia and that's her cousin and you encouraging her to have these negative conversations because of that. Melody's doing just enough to put the pieces right where they belong and watch the, the puppets dance. <laughs> that's what she's doing the real the real puppet master on the stage ain't Letitia, it's melody and so hey <laughs>